pero es que mami, usted tiene la culpa por andar intentando cosas. Usted hubiera hablado de paz con ella, no de guerra. ¿Verdad, hermano? Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Are you doing fine? Are you okay? Yes. Very nice. So, hi, Ricardo. Great to see you, Gabby. Thank you for joining. I see. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Maurice, good evening. I also see here. Uh, Enrique, Andre, how are you doing, guys? Is everything all right? Everything good? Teacher. Hi. You don't send me the exercise. Oh my God, you're totally right. Okay, I'm going to send it to you in a couple of minutes. So let me just, uh, do me a big favor. Can you send me a text in WhatsApp, please? Okay, teacher. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, the reminder. And I'm so sorry about it. So I was like, I don't know. I, I thought um, I had sent it over, I guess. So, but either way. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So great to see you and welcome to session number uh, 17 today. So we're going to move on a little bit uh, with part of the activities that we have for today. Give me just a moment, let me turn on my camera. Um, yesterday we were practicing uh, a little bit of equations. We didn't have the chance to practice asking questions match. So today we are going to uh, definitely go over that uh, practice, right? So we're going to practice a lot, asking questions, different kind of questions and the uh, we are going to, um, you know, go over a couple of vocabulary um, things here as well. So give me just a moment. So let me present my screen and let's get it started. So first of all, guys, let's take a look at the conversation that we have over here. And uh, this one um, is related to the topic that we're going to discuss today that says, should teenagers work? <laughs> guys, yes, Let's just, oh, okay. <laughs> so you already have an opinion yes, about no, that. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what, what are your thoughts? What is your opinion on this? Because you appreciate uh, the money that you earn. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are, uh, you know, ¿cómo se dice consciente? Uh, so you are aware. You are aware all this difficult to, to earn. Very interesting. So it is necessary to work because you can be aware of the money and how difficult it is to make money. Okay. Guys, what about the rest? Good evening, teacher and everyone. Hello. Hi, Belen. Carlos, good evening. Helen, great to see you guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. hello. Estoy saliendo de otro seminario ahorita. Oh, okay. No worries. No worries. As soon as you are free, we are here for you. Okay, guys. So what can you tell us? Uh, what, is, what is your opinion on this topic? What are your thoughts? Mauricio says yes. Teenagers should work because they have to be aware of how important it is to make money, how difficult it is to make money. Guys, what do you think? Definitely yes, teacher. Why? Um, for many reasons. For example, okay. the first one and the most important because uh, you have to know uh, how is the price of the cost about something that you really like. Mm -hmm. And you have to know how your parents uh, get to do for uh, get all the stuff you already have. So it's very important. Maybe it's for empathy and for knowledge. And maybe it's something very important because because in 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 the first employ in the first uh, job. Job? Mm -hmm. Job, yeah. You can start to think about what is something that you like. 
and you have some ideas on if you want to study, if you want something different, if you really like it or something like that. And oh. the emotionals that you will have in your first payment, <laughs> that's having prices. Oh, okay, okay, sounds all right. So it is important because you kind of value, right? So as you mentioned, you kind of value what, um, you know, you the have. effort, mm -hmm, the effort that you put into some things, what you got, exactly. That's a very good one. All right. Sure. Yes. And another thing that I, I believe that is important uh, to work when you are a teenager is uh, for to buy a thing that you want. Um, oh, okay. Like a pair of shoes, like a video yeah, game, yeah. like a phone. Okay, okay. Guys, is anybody against this topic? Is anybody saying no, teenagers should not work? Um, good evening. I'm like Hi. 50 and 50 okay. because I know some, uh, usually men, that they had the opportunity to study, to continue studying, have a career and have better, uh, better job but they started to work and they don't want to continue study. So they left uh -huh. the study and they start to work probably in, in earning a few and having the opportunity to get to earn more money. Okay. So it depends of the of the of of each person because uh, in my case, I worked when I was younger, oh, and, nice. but I didn't, get, <laughs> I didn't get the payment because I worked with my mom. Oh, that but was a family business. That, yes, mm. but I knew the value, like balances of the things. So mm -hmm. I didn't spend money just to spend it. I just usually, uh, when I buy something, I know uh, if I have to buy it, if it's necessary or if just uh, to spend the, the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it depends on the person, but I think I'm 50 and 50. It depends. <laughs> wow, that's a really good point. Uh, but what the examples that you mentioned, like your friends started working at a very young age, um, were they like teenagers when they started working? Do you know if they gave up completely uh, or they didn't develop any dream to continue or going into university or getting a career or something like that? Uh, probably they are not like uh, very sure what they want. So oh. they are experimenting about life and they are not sure about what they want but probably when they get older um uh, well i know that i'm not we're not older but yeah i was, like, I was going adults. to say like yes. what and they are like uh arrepentido. they regret oh yeah they regret that okay. they spent some years working and probably having the opportunity to continue studying Oh, okay. Well, that's a really good point. I don't think you're old. Well, not that old. <laughs> so you're in your 20s. Uh -huh. Oh, but better still, you know. So in their 20s, they have a chance to turn uh, this into an opportunity and, and continue studying. So it is never too late, I think. Um, so but nice, nice. Great to hear that. Arnoldo, good it's evening. A... Angelica, hello. Tell me. Uh, um, yes. Uh, maybe just... Um, uh, agregando. Um, uh, okay. In addition. In addition. Yeah. In addition to the, the partnerships, um, it's very important, and mm -hmm. it's because not only you get um get a regret mm -hmm. about what you do, about what you did, but also it that could be helpful, uh, because you have to know about what you want to do in the future and maybe mm -hmm. some other uh, people doesn't want to study in other yes want to study so every every person have a different point of view mm -hmm. have a different goal some other people doesn't want to study or maybe uh, not a career maybe just a course so i don't know so maybe the the the, the, the first world work will help you because uh, you you have conversation with different people okay. that maybe doesn't have the same age as you mm -hmm. and that maybe could be uh, 
it could give you some point of view different, some different point of view. Do about, you think that they can guide you? Uh, what is guide you, teacher? A, a guide, like lead, like give you, con uh, give you advice or give you recommendations. Yeah. Put you a in recommendation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or maybe you have, um, maybe you could have like, um, como, como sería, como donde escoger. Oh, okay. Esa, por ejemplo, our parents always says to us that always said to us that we have to study, we have to work, and then we have to study. And it's even better if you study and working at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that's what the parent says. But when you're working, mm -hmm. you already you know some different point of view, people that already study. Or people that doesn't want to study mm -hmm. or people that does uh, only want to work mm -hmm. so maybe you have to it's like open-minded okay you have to know all the possibilities and then you have to choose one okay. but if you only uh, have a conversation with the same age maybe sorry <laughs> No, 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 that's all right. That's all right. Okay. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, Ricardo, tell me. Yeah, teachers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just yeah. read, I just read that you were having problems with your internet, but, but I guess you're back, right? So let's connect. Ido el, el ah, okay. Okay. No, el, well, el de, el, la señal suya fue, bo. Mm, Really? Was I frozen? Oh, okay. Guys, me estoy quebrando. Am I breaking? No, yeah. miss. No, your camera is a little bit shaking, but I think it's normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess it is. Oh, okay. Well, me nedamo, probably um, your internet went down for a couple of minutes, but but I'm glad your com um, your internet is back. So guys, you know, same thing. If I'm breaking, if you don't hear me uh, correctly, so please let me know. Because uh, creo que en algunas áreas se ha ido el internet. Um, no sé si es general, but I was uh, checking that some co-workers, some teachers, um, they, have, they are having some issues with the internet at the moment. So yes, let us know. Uh, Judy, great to see you, Judy. Oh, let me see. I see also Iris. Hey, Iris. Nice to see you here. Rafael, welcome, guys. Okay, so we are discussing this topic, guys, that is related to teenagers um, working. So if that is okay, if that is not okay, um, I guess everybody has had the opportunity to work at a very young age. Uh, as Gabby said, probably in a family business, probably... Uh, in a small business or helping friends, probably we got money or may we may not have gotten anything. <laughs> but still, you know, uh, we learn something from experience. So well, guys, what, what do you think? Um, I, I calls my attention, you know, if anybody is against uh, teenagers uh, working. So guys, do we have anybody who says no, teenagers should not work at all? Is anybody against this? Against teenage uh, teenagers having to work? I guess Maybe. that it's different when you say uh, children. Oh, yeah. But a teenager, I guess, is, is, is a good thing. It is a subtle word. So it is, yeah. Yeah, because children is like seven, eight, nine years old working. Probably not, right? Uh, guys, what do you think? Uh, Only if they want to. That would be okay. things, but if they don't want to work, because in sometimes, well, in in this case, in this country, they have to work because of the uh, ec so, uh, econ econ economy, Econom economy, mm -hmm. economy about the okay. economy. But in another another situation, is okay. Okay, and also I I totally agree on this. My nephew is fourteen years old, and he likes having pocket money you know <laughs> so he's like hey mom give me permission I want to go to the store and help in the afternoon because I want money so I think that it, as long as doesn't interfere with school 
So that is a subtower, right? So he likes that. Um, guys, what about the rest of you? We have different generations here. So I would like to listen to uh, the experienced generation <laughs> as well. What are your thoughts? Guys, who are, who are the experienced people here? I guess we have Carlos. So Carlos, what are your thoughts on this topic? Well, uh, I think it depends on the, of the needs or the facts in, in your in your home, in your house. And I've been working since I was 14. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, because my father says, you gonna work and you are going to study at uh, in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Then I work in and I work in a panaderia. Ah, in a bakery. Yes, but but sailing. Ah, selling. not making, not not no, making. No, not making. Or, ah, okay. Oh, I that's have okay. to wake up at the four and a half. Oh. And I got to be a five. Wow. Clock in the morning in the place and work to 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Oh, so in morning. So and after that, I go to study. Uh, what about your homework? What time do you do homework? Mm, well, it's, it's, it was hard. It, it must have been. Yeah, wow, it but not. hard, but, but the decision of the fathers, we got to do what they think is good for, for us. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and I think that now that we are a little older, we value that, right? Because yeah. uh, they yeah. taught us at least to be uh, more, I don't know, entrepreneur, like to work, to value things. Uh, Rafael, I think you're ready to mention something. So what are your thoughts? What do you think, about, Rafael? About the, about the question. Yes, shooting a year's work. I think, uh, yes, it's, it's good. The teenagers experiment the different forms at work. Okay. And I, I, I was work and remember and thirty. No. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen years. Yes. Um, I remember a uh, feeling, you know? Uh, yeah, feeling. Feeling, feeling hair box for prepare um, coffee. Okay. Plants of coffee. Ah, um, okay. Nice. It, it's a, a good experience. Okay, did you learn just the process of a coffee plantation or how to make coffee too? Uh, uh, coffee plantation. Okay, okay. Oh, give me one second. And, uh, and, and remember, uh, regar. Okay, water. Yes. So you water the plants every day, like yeah. the coffee plantations with, every day. With, with uh, las regaderas, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, like the water, yeah. there is a word for that, but I've forgotten it. It's a water, a watered, a forgotten. L let me take a look at it because it's like, even in Spanish, I don't remember. Mm. Es un sistema de riego, right? Yes, uh, depositos. Con, que al final es como un, como un balde que tiene al final unos varios hoyitos. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a, a way of watering plants. But there is an, like, aspersores, wait. I forgot in the name, even in Spanish. So let me let me try to remember that. Okay, but well, guys, uh, thanks a lot for sharing your experience. Uh, it is actually very interesting because nobody wants against this, you know. So, and I think that, most of us had the, the chance to work at a young age, uh, regardless, you know, if we liked it or not, but we learned, you know, from that experience. So 
I think that that was good in a way. Guys, uh, so moving on, we just have here uh, like two words I think are important to remember. So one is regret, right? Uh, so we use regret when we make decisions um, and now we have consequences and we say, oh no, I shouldn't have done it. So we regret, we feel bad and we wish uh, we could have the opportunity to change the past. And also we have the word guide. So guide is like um, help another person go in the right direction, right? Uh, so if you are parents, uh, you guide obviously your children. Uh, so if you are an employer or if you are a boss, so you guide your employees as well. So guide is that, you know, help people uh, go in the right direction and regret we feel bad, you know, because of the decisions we made in the past. Mauricio, are you all right? Is your cat okay? I, I just read your, your text, but I don't know if how it went. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to go over uh, some vocabulary building first. Uh, we're going to like check a couple of thingies before. And- uh, I left my uh, left teacher. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take a look at that in a moment. 16, um, give me one second. Hi, Ruben. Good evening. Delmi, great to see you, Delmi. Okay, I'm still missing a couple. All right, guys. So let's take a look at some words here. Uh, first, let me read them for you, and then we can uh, repeat them together. The first word we have is uh, threaten. The second is discourage. We have a scholarship. We have grateful. Encourage. Give up injured and embarrassed. Guys, uh, repeat with me, please. So let's go over uh, some of these words that we may include in our daily um, vocabulary practice. So we have threaten. Threaten. Discourage. 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 Scholarship. 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 Grateful. Grateful. Encourage. Encourage. Give up. Give, Give up. up. Injured. Injured. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. There we go. Okay, guys. So, Enrique, please, can you read threaten for us? Can you read the definition of threaten? Okay. Intentions of injury or punishment against. Thank you very much. Andrea, can you help us with this courage? Try to prevent show opposition to. Thank you so much. And uh, let's go with Judy. Can you help us with the scholarship? <laughs> Financial aid provided to a, a student on the basic, basis Basis? Of merit. Okay. Basis of. Give me one second. I think it's. Um, I think you're breaking. No, but I think I heard merit, right? Okay. Uh, Rafael, please help us with gratefully. Feeling or showing the thankfulness. Okay. <laughs> yes, thankfulness. Thank you so much. Um, Arnaldo, please, can you help us with encourage? Inspired with confidence. Thank you very much. Uh, Carlos, please give up. Great. Hope. Give up. I, the I, of, I, of lacking hope. Uh, sorry. I meet the fit. Okay. Thank you very much. So, um, Ricardo, please, injured. In your girl and male. Mm -hmm. Harmed. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Tell me, please. Embarrassed. Feeling or cause to feel un uneasy, uneasy, and, mm -hmm. and self 
conscious. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so um, we have here like some vocabulary that is going to be really useful at the moment that we're talking. And let's take a look at the following. Um, we already checked the word threaten, we already use it, and that was intentions of injury or punishment. Now we have encourage and discourage. Guys, encourage. Um, is there anybody who encourages you? Is there any person who like cheers you up? and uh, gives you inspiration to continue, I don't know, probably university, probably working in the same company. So who encourages you? In my case, teacher, my sister, and my cat. <laughs> your cat, wow, okay. <laughs> so your sister and your cat, sounds amazing. I had never heard that answer. <laughs> Okay, guys, what about the rest of We've you? We've been through a lot of problems <laughs> together, teacher. With the cat. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yeah. Guys, who or what encourages you? Uh, Margarita, who or what encourages you? A spider, a way conference. Yeah, that is the definition. Like Old inspired. Child. But this one is like, uh, so, que lo motiva, right? What encourages you? So, Margarita, what encourages you? Good evening. Hi. Is inspiring why confidence. With, with confidence. Okay. So, what about in your personal case? What encourages you? So, also, que la motiva? What encourages you? The encourage is like motivate, right? This is very similar to motivate. So, Margarita, que la motiva? What motivates you? What encourages you? Um, my study. Oh, okay, okay. So, studying. What about your family? Does your family encourage you? And yes, um, eh, your husband, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Uh -huh. eh, también mi familia, my mi family. Hijos. Okay, okay, very nice. So you can say my family. Um, so, creo que es lo más importante. <laughs> I mean, no, because no, not necessarily. So my family and uh, my children encourage me so remember that this one encourage is like motivate not necessarily because sometimes son nuestros amigos right sometimes we have really good friends um or we have i don't know people who inspire us so personas que conocemos that inspire us my, a lot or encourage my friends us. my friends encourage yeah. you excellent Es una ah. persona que, que admiro mucho y que es un ejemplo a seguir para mí. Oh, that is perfect. So that is inspired, all right? So your friend is an inspiration. Your friend inspired Thank you. you. Thank nice. you. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Ricardo says that he is the sure. one. <laughs> yes? I have a question. Yes. And courage is the positive discourage. Yes, that is correct. So if I say my family and my friends encourage me, what would be the idea if I tell you my family and friends uh, discourage me? So that is exactly the opposite. Encourage, motivate me, discourage, me desmotivan, you know? So they made me quit. They made me, ah, oh, yeah. So guys. That really, that really happened. That happens a lot, guys at work. It's a, it's a bit is, normal. Uh, I think, yeah. And uh, so at work, what discourages you? So, ¿qué los desmotiva? What is something? What is something that discourages you? The payment. Oh, no. Payment. Okay, the <laughs> salary. Okay, salary. Only salary. 
Yeah. Maybe the in my case the the goals about the sales teacher. The metrics. Okay. The met so metrics, goals uh, in sales, uh, payment. Guys, what discourages you? ¿Qué los desmotiva? What discourages you? A, a promotion. Ah, okay. No opportunities to get a promotion. That discourages people a lot. Okay. What about the rest? Nothing. Maybe don't, yeah. don't have enough enough um, benefits. Oh, okay. The benefits that you can get. All right. Or that, lose, that is for, mm -hmm. or that is for real. Yeah. Do you lose benefits in your company? For example, when they change something. In 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 my case, in my work, for example, the admin the los administrativos administrative the administrative church they have um an aumento an increase an increase mm -hmm. an increase of their payment because about the church or for example the uh, we that have in salas we don't have that increase oh okay so yeah payments increase uh okay that it's definitely benefits. discourages us okay mm -hmm. anything else guys okay guys what about english <laughs> is there right anything? home yeah right home and die fight uh, it was a difficult difficult or difficult are uh, working or they uh, physical they'll stay dirty. The, the, uh, so what something that discourages you Ricardo is the physical work el trabajo físico que realiza physical work sí. oh okay that is that is true you know because in your in your case so trabajo is physical, I guess. Most of your of your work refers to physical activities uh, all day long. Okay. Especially in invierno and or like um summers. I yes. guess that must, yeah. be, that must have been it's horrible. Sunny. Okay. All right. Guys, what about English? Is there anything that discourages you when learning English? All right. <laughs> no, yeah, teacher. Come on. <laughs> No, yes. maybe when you don't yes. understand, yes. when you don't don't understand something, maybe that that makes you feel maybe sad or disappointed. Or when, for example, in my case, when I have my my blank, that makes me feel so. No, I don't know because I feel that I can I I, I can handle it. A little uh, upset. No, my blanks. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a little upset? upset yeah because i can handle it but when you understand and and maybe it's something that you have to use it it may in spanish happen so in english it will happen too mm -hmm. that is so. that is definitely right so the same thing this is another language you know as a spanish the difference is Spanish, guys. Lo hemos estado hablando por 20, 30 años, 40 y algunos más, you know. <laughs> and English, obviously. So um, it's a process. It is going to take time. Uh, it is not going to be the same for everybody, but you will make it. And that is what matters at the end. Try so, the, yeah. Try the intention on hungry. And... And for um, formally, but uh, five for people uh, whole. Okay, do me a big favor, Ricardo, because creo que tenemos que organizar las ideas. We need to put the ideas in order. Um, give it a try. Sin el traductor, without the translator, intente ponerle en el chat, please. Try to organize the idea and try to put it in the chat and let me take a look at it. Okay, um, because, okay. Uh, I think that solo necesitamos organizarla a little bit better. Okay, okay. So, uh, guys, coming back to the vocabulary. So we have discourage, we have encourage, right? We have grateful, feeling of thankfulness. 
So I can say I feel thankful or I feel grateful. Guys, what do you feel grateful for? So what do you, what do you, what do you feel grateful for? What do you feel thankful for? Pero, uh, the payment, it's, uh, it's obviously a grateful. Okay, so you feel grateful, grateful for the payment, all right. Mm -hmm. Um, so guys, what about the rest of you? Tell me, what do you feel grateful for? Uh, grateful. For, no, with. For is okay. I feel grateful for. For my, for my son. For your son. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you got a son. Okay. How old is your son? How old? How old I'm is your baby? 13 years old. Wow, 14. So he's a teenager. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's your baby. Well, I call it baby. <laughs> Enrique, what do you feel grateful for? For half a food. Oh, okay. How? Okay. And that's it. For another day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. Sounds okay. So we feel grateful, I guess, exactly for breathing, for another day, for food. Uh, anything else, guys, for our family? Right. For being he healthy. For health, exactly, for being healthy. Anything else? Any other reason for being grateful? I feel like siento como si fuera Thanksgiving, you know. <laughs> that is just like normally. For a job. For, yeah, for a job. As you said, probably el payment no es el mejor, pero hay un payment, right? So we have a way to survive without payment. Okay, so let's continue here. The next one we have is give up, right? So that is admit defeat. So when you feel defeated and you simply say, you know what? I don't want to continue. I just give up, okay? Uh, we have injured and we have embarrassed. Guys, can you give me an example, a real example, please, using the expressions that are new for you? For example, if you have never used the expression injured, um, can you give me an example, a real example of a time when you were injured? Or if you have never used the expression embarrassed before, can you write an example of a time you felt embarrassed? So Teacher, I, yep. I have uh, some issues with the first one. Threaten. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never heard before, and maybe I can understand oh. the meaning as well. Okay. Let me put it this way. So we have the word threat, right? Uh, for yeah. example, um, we have these two countries, um, Russia and, and what is Ukraine. the other country? In Ukraine, yes. So Russia is a threat to Ukraine. Oh. So Russia uh, threaten, I'm going to use this because this is a verb and I need a past. So threaten Ukraine, um, what is what, what was the what was the threat? Do you remember, guys? What for amenaza? Well, let's leave it like this. Uh, we are not going to get into politics. So Russia threatened uh, Ukraine for a civil war. Russia was the Ukraine want to join the OTAN. Threatened Ukraine. The, uh, so, but la amenazó para que se uniera o para que no se uniera. No, no. I, I I understand that uh, all begin when Ukraine mm -hmm. wants to, to join in the OTAN. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. You know, I never understood. Well, talking about politics because that is more related to politics. I think. Uh, para mí que todo es un conflicto de económico. So everything is like no, an economical no, conflict. Really. Not really. What is it, guys? Dejado. Because that, dejado. that. Los gringos habían dejado ese conflicto de antes. That, that, y... that means mean if uh, Ukraine 
be part of OTAN, that OTAN. Uh, Ukraine has a military base that the United States and Ukraine is, um, ¿cómo se dice destino? Destino. Destino. Oh, um, neighbor. It's neighbor that Russia is too neighboring. Well, I heard another story, but at the end, I don't know, because countries are complicated, you know, and that it was related to a nuclear, um, oh, what was that? Nuclear electricity uh, power supply or something uh, that goes into Ukraine. So um, I don't know, at the end, I don't know. But this is a very good idea. And I think we got it with the example too. Thank you for the information. To be honest, I don't know much about the conflict they are having. I just know that life is going really hard there. So Teacher, yeah. is, that is very, well, for me, it's very complicated because uh, they fight in Ukraine, in other and so it's <laughs> I don't know it's very um no puedo decir bueno el punto es que bien, es bien tonto <laughs> porque they fight in Ukraine in Ukraine so they completely destroy it only to fight it to to, to win that country as a favor uh, a, a su favor yeah but that's why you know yeah, we will never understand uh -huh. we yeah. will never get the real reason of wars, but anyways. So that is like a very good example uh, to bring, you know, so we can get the meaning of the word threaten. If you just take a look, I'm using here mm -hmm. ED to indicate that this is past. So if we're a present, I just include the S, sorry. And that would Written be Russia. Like a, I mean, NASA. Mm -hmm, that is correct. But um, threaten, like this, con E-N, es amenazar, right? Like, I don't know, mi jefe me amenazó. No, right, that doesn't work. <laughs> Guys, alguna vez uh, han sido amenazados por el jefe, no, right? No. Uh, I don't think... Maybe for a no, no, no. despedir? How do you say despedir? Ah, okay. But mi jefe me amenazó que me iba a despedir. Something like that? Yeah. Okay, my boss threatened to fire me. If, if I... Uh, if I arrive late again. Oh, is that for real? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a simple. <laughs> no, guys, give me real. I was like, what? Siempre llega tarde. <laughs> okay. So, but, but okay, yeah, that, that would definitely work. So my boss uh, threatened to fire me or threatens uh, to fire me every time I get late. So every time every time I get late. Okay, so that, that would be a very good one. So just uh, have in mind guys, that threaten is el verbo amenazar. So yo quiero decir amenaza, that's a different word, and that would be threat, right? Um, so a threat, so una amenaza. Um, like, give me just a second here. Okay. Okay, but, but uh, Ricardo, intentemos no usar Google Translator, but intente ordenarme la idea, you know, on your own. Try to put your own ideas para que, you know, vayamos también trabajando en el orden. Okay, guys, I'll give you like three, four minutes uh, so we can finish with this. Uh, solo las palabras nuevas, of course, only new words. If threatening is new for you, if grateful is a new word for you. So let's come up with a real example, please, so we can discuss it and we can share it. So three, four minutes, guys. There you go. Thank you. 
Um, Enrique, is that like a real example? Uh, was, was that for real? Yes. Okay. Did you get it? No. I... So no, yet. <laughs> so you're <the> scared. <laughs> okay. What did you want no, to it's, get? It's respect. It's respect. respect. I, I know, but <laughs> what, what do you want to get? I don't know. <laughs> oh, so you okay? Yeah. So it was only a threat. It was not like real. No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought you got the tattoo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My mom just to say, no. My mom didn't just to to say oh, I'm gonna kill you or something, but she was like, yeah, no, she didn't threaten us that way. <laughs> but I know the feeling. It is respect. Definitely. I like your example, sounds really good. Uh, two more minutes, guys. Only the words that are completely new to you, please. Uh, if threatening is new, if uh, give up is new, only with the words that are new.
All right. Um, uh, Helen, can you give a little bit of more um, elaboration to your example? Uh, threaten to have someone else do a better job? Uh, who threatened you? Like your boss? I'm not sure if what you mean with your example is like, so jefe amenazó con contratar a alguien más. I don't know if that was the idea. Uh, Era un ejemplo, teacher. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but uh, was the example like that? Like, mi jefe eh, amenazó con contratar a alguien más? Like, something like that? Uh, si, si no hace bien su trabajo, amenazado por otra persona que haga mejor trabajo que yo. Algo así. Okay. Threatening to have someone else do a better job. Okay, okay, so that sounds all right. So my boss, right? So we can just mention who threatened, but that was okay. Uh, Rafael, I like your, your example. That sounds really good. Um, just a little something. Normalmente necesitamos siempre un sujeto al inicio. So um, antes de no, podemos ponerle it is. It is not. So it is not a good idea. Y lo demás está super bien. The rest sounds really good. So it is not a good idea. That would be the only thing. Um, Angelica says, my sister threatened um, to take her stuff with her permission. Threatened. Um, I don't know. What, what do you mean, Angelica? <laughs> like, yeah, like you I took, took in, the, in the past with my, with my, with my sister. But you point. took her stuff or she took your stuff? Her stuff. <laughs> you took Not hers. My... Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, but what was like the threat? Como le menace her like? Uh, so um, she threatened uh, you. With, yes, put with a punch. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So I don't my, know how to say that. Yes, a punch. <laughs> a punch. Okay. So <laughs> my, yeah, like my sister is threatened uh, to punch me. Uh huh. Uh, if I took her stuff without her permission again. Okay, I get that. All right. Oh, wow. That was, she was super physical. <laughs> Very aggressive. Yes, say something like sister stuff. <laughs> sister stuff, yes, I know. Well, my sisters were super older than me, so I never took her stuff. Well, their stuff. Uh -huh. Guys, what about your brothers or sisters? Yeah. Ahora que Angelica mentions yeah. this, this is very common, right? Yeah, she is uh, eight years old than me. Oh, okay. So it's, <laughs> it's more like a, I have to molestarla. <laughs> uh, to tease her, to tease her. Yes, I'm going to write the word here. So tease. Tease is like, but in un sentido, you know, tranquilo. Or bully, right? Bully, tease. Mm -hmm. But uh, but just a question, Angelica. Did you did your sister and you, or did you and your sister have the same uh, like the same size, the same shoe size? Mm, yes. Sometimes ah, okay. t-shirts uh, and makeup. No, that that's uh, makeup is all for all for her. Ah, okay. So you don't wear makeup. Clothes, clothes, yes. Ah, okay, okay, very nice. Yeah, my sisters and I we have different size, so my clothes is a smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. <laughs> they uh, and and I could never wear their clothes. Yeah. So let me just take a look here. I give up from going to swim because the clothes are purple. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenya, to hear that. Yes, I know. I wanted to go to El Polvorín too. So I give up going to swim. The chat. Yes. Talking about sisters or brothers, when I was a kid, uh -huh. we have an experience with my sister. My sister has uh, 24 and I 25. So we uh, wow. we only have one year, one month, and one hour or difference. <laughs> wow, what a so, gap. Yeah, and so it was a classic fight about the remote control and the TV. 
and uh, she was on me and she um i don't know if it would be that would be the word she trend to me <laughs> Uh, that if I don't get, if I don't uh, gave to her the, the remote control, mm -hmm. she will uh, uh, punish me. I don't know. Uh, golpear me. So the fact is that she broke my teeth, my teeth. And then. Your teeth? Yeah. My oh. front teeth. And oh. then I broke her nose. <laughs> But when you say you broke her nose, you mean you sent your sister to the hospital? No, I just, uh, she only get uh, a, a, a little bit of, yeah, really? bleeding. and now she has a, uh, como decir, panda. Crooked? <laughs> <laughs> No, creo que, no, que Maritz como, like, it's yeah. no está recta, está como panda. Okay, not straight, not straight. Yeah, no, not straight. Oh my God, guys. Do you have yeah. a stories like that with your brothers and sisters? <laughs> I mean, red, and red. only for a remote control. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. I'm like super impressed here. Um, I'm I'm reading your examples and they are just amazing. I'm sorry, Iris, about I don't know if that is an example, but okay. I hope your baby gets better. Arnoldo, tell us about that. I see here that you have written something about um, that once you were threatened by two guys at the university. Um, and it says that they tried to steal your phone and your money, but what happened? Did they steal it or did you run away or what did you do? Mm -hmm. It was, eh, pasó como 2010. Okay, 2010. Yeah, but they can stole me. So because they they stole they stole your phone or they no, didn't no. steal your phone. They didn't. Okay, but but what it, happened? Um, at the bus. Uh huh. They tried to steal. Okay. All my things. Okay. But I I. No lo dejé. <laughs> okay, so you didn't let them, but why? Did you fight with them? Did you scream? Did you get off the bus? Mm -hmm. So what did you no. do? I I didn't anything because the mm -hmm. two boys was a little boys. Okay, like teenagers. Teenagers, yes, yes. Okay. Did they have um, guns? Did they have weapons? No, but but ellos hacían como el gesto de que sí. Oh, they they pretended, like they pretended uh -huh. they had they something. Pretended. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So you didn't but, give your phone, you didn't give your money, nothing? Nothing. Oh, okay. Well, you were so lucky then that they were not probably um they didn't have weapons then, but I would I say that is dangerous. In, in this, in this época. In those days. In those days. I, yo iba siempre al gimnasio, entonces. Okay, in English. I, <laughs> so in I, those days, I, uh -huh. I used to. Uh, don't worry, I will. Use, I will help you. So I used to. Yo solía. I used to. Uh -huh. I used to. I used to. Mm -hmm. Eso es yo solía. So yo solía ir al gimnasio. I used to go to the gym. I used to go to the gym. Okay. Um, I, I. How do you say? I feel encouraged. Okay, I, I feel. Uh, no, probably not. Well, what do you want to say? <laughs> because uh, encouraged uh, is like motivated. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Okay. So okay, you felt strong. You felt yes, strong yes. enough to to fight these yes. kids. 
Yes. Uh, okay, okay. I think I got you there. Okay. Like, ay, no me van a pegar, no van a hacer nada, something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, you feel encouraged, like, to fight the kids or to face the kids. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a very good example with encourage, too. Okay, okay. Wow, but yeah, I think that that is very dangerous. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just take a look here. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, Mauricio, I am reading your example too. And, and I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that, but what happened at the end? Uh, what happened uh, after you uh, complained about the OT? They pay me, but they pay me one month and after three months, they pay me a month and a month and a month and a month. But did they pay at the end? Did they pay like the full amount of the yes. OT? Yes. Did you quit? What? The, did you quit? Did you quit? Quit is resign. Did you resign? Did you quit? Como si renunció, right? Quit. Uh -huh. Did you quit? Renunció? No, no, no. I I had the idea to, to do it, but uh, okay. I don't do it finally. Okay. Is that the same job? Are you yes. in the same company? Yes. Okay. Is it better now? Uh, yes, a little bit. Okay. But the thing is that if they pay you, so I think that's important. So that they don't, um, that they la, fulfill, you know, their promises. Ya la mandamos, teacher. Yes, right now. It says, I was threatened with dismissal during the time of Dr. Quijano. Wow, Dr. Quijano, that was a long time ago, Ricardo. And we protested for many colleagues and they were reinstated. I really like your example. So I was threatened with dismissal. Um, so, but Ricardo, this was like mm -hmm. 12 años atrás, 12 years ago? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. Because you, yes. you had Bukele, you got Quijano, I know, like six years ago. Probably six. I am really bad with numbers. Okay. But I'm glad that your friends... Yes, I don't know to there. 16 years, wow, that's a lot. Years. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for your examples. They look really, really nice. Um, and I'm glad, you know, that you got most of the words. Uh, me imagino que el resto de compañeros that they didn't share the examples is because you already um, get these words, you know, quite nicely. So then in that case, let's move on a little bit because um, we have a long way ahead here. We are going to be practicing today a little bit of uh, prototypes, and we are going to be working with questions too. Before moving on, I have a little reading here, and I have this exercise. It says, read the short text and underline the embedded question, and then give a text ending. Um, so let's take a look at this text. First of all, guys, we are going to underline where you see um, Embedded questions. What are embedded questions? Lo que vimos ayer, guys. What we were checking yesterday of putting uh, more uh, polite questions, right? So do me a big favor. Uh, if you are in the computer, guys, tienen una opción que dice, it says, give me one second. It says dibujar. So please look, go into your computer, look for the menu and look for the option that says dibujar. Uh, you will find like a sort of a line. And what I want you to do is do this. I want you to underline the places where you see embedded equation. Si está en el teléfono, guys, if you are in your cell phone, you can do it too. In your cell phone, en la primera pantalla, les aparece un lapicito. You will see a pencil. Click on the pencil. Uh, and with the pencil, you can do the same. So look, it's manual. Va a quedar un poquito crooked, but it can work. So um, I will give you two minutes. Can you try to do it, please? Váyanse al menú, you know, the normal menu. Luego se van a anotar. You click on anotar o donde está el lapicito, where it is the, the pencil. 
yo click on that one y luego les va a aparecer uh, dibujar. You will see something like drawing. ¿Lo encontraron, yeah, guys? What exactly we have to draw. Uh, yeah, what I want you to do. Oh, yeah, very similar to what Ricardo is doing, but it says here, underline the embedded questions. Necesito que subrayen. I need you to underline. Donde aparezcan preguntas como las que vimos ayer, you know, preguntas uh, like I am wondering, I would like to know, can you tell me? So the same topic we checked yesterday. Okay. Okay. Remember that embedded solamente son, eh, they need to be complete, guys. Okay. I see Gabby there. Okay. Would you mind telling me? Okay. I see Belen there. Guys, lo encontraron? Did the rest of you find it? Yo no, mis. No lo encuentro. Okay. 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 So, um, how can I guide you? Uh, okay, in the text, in, in the menu, right, where you have your camera, you have the microphone and everything, va a haber una opción, you will see an option. Guys, donde les aparece el, el resto? Where do, you, where do you see that? Probably, creo que yo lo veo diferente. I think I see this a little bit different. Yeah, in my case, um, the options, and annotator, mm -hmm. and click, and the options for draw. Oh, okay. So then options, annotar, right? It is in the same part. So note it, says in English, or note it, yeah, note it, I think it says, mm -hmm. or annotar, says in Espanol, and then uh, drawing. A mí me aparece, uh, yeah, that's right, drawing, y ahí están como unas líneas. So you can select that part. You can select the one that is the easiest for you. Which mind telling me? Okay. Can you tell me? Okay, guys. Embedded questions no solo son las preguntas. Embedded questions deben de ser preguntas muy polite. So that means that is de acá, what the lawyer you said, esa no es una embedded question. Because it has to be a super polite question. Would you mind telling me what the head address is? Yes, that is an embedded question. Or no, please tell me, mm, this is not a question. So let me just delete this one for you. I don't know who. Um, I would like to know where Miss Mendes lives. Oh, very nice, sounds really good. Could you tell me who you're looking for? Very good. Are you Miss Mendes? Oh, but this is super direct. So no, this is not an embedded question. He asked, would you mind telling me where she lives, please? I would like to know where Miss Mendes lives. Mm -hmm. Very nice. She said, sorry, no, because this is not a question. I really need to know where I can find her. Very good. Yes, this is the one. So I really need to know where I can find her. That part, yes. What the Lord did you say? No, that's not a question. That um, don't look like a question. I'm sorry? I really, I really want to know. Yes, I really want I... to know. Yeah. It doesn't look like a question, but it's an embedded question uh, or an indirect question. A man said, is anyone home? Mm, esta sí es una pregunta, pero no una pregunta corteza. We are going to delete that one. Okay. Okay. Um, I need to find her, but this is not a question, really. But I don't know who she is. Oh yeah, it's the whole thing, right? I would like to know where Miss Mendes lives, but I don't know who she is. So that's the whole idea. 
I really know. I really need to know where I can find her. Okay. She said, no, this is not. Okay, guys, I think we already got it. Okay. Uh, so very good job. Exactly. We have, could you tell me who you're looking for? That's a really good one. I would like, would you mind telling me, telling me where she lives, please? I would like to know where Miss Mendes lives, but I don't know who she is. So the whole thing, it's one. I really need to know where I can find her. Very good. And, uh, and the last one, would you mind telling me what her address is? Okay, guys, very good. Now let's take a look at this reading for a moment because we need to write an ending for this. Let me start and then I, I will need your help reading this, uh, this paragraph. So, give me just a second. Hold on. Okay. Okay, guys, so it says, just before the alarm went off, she was laying in the backyard with her dog and cat with green lawns around her and stretching. So, um, I can't escuchado today. Who haven't I heard? Andrea, please help us. <laughs> so when suddenly, uh, from this part, please. And suddenly someone knocked at the door and the dog was bark barking. Mm -hmm. So she got up and walked to see through the people. Mm -hmm. um, Continue, please. Outside the house, a man, a man said, Is anyone home? She answered, Could you tell me who you are looking for? Thank you he very said. much. No, that, that, that's all right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. Uh, let me see. I haven't heard. Um, Iris, are you there? Mm, he said, yes, please. He said, are you Miss Mendes? She answered, eh, no, I am not. He asked, would you mind telling me where she lives, please? I would like to know where Miss Mendes lives, but I live by, I don't know who she is, she said, Sorry, I cannot help you. Thank you very much. And uh, could you please continue, Delmi? Oh, I don't have Francisco here. So here, he said. Oh, I think Delmi is not here. Okay, Margarita, please. Can you help me with this part? Uh, he said. Margarita, I think Margarita got frozen. Uh, Enrique, please help me out with the part of uh, he said. Enrique. May I read, teacher? Yes, please. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm getting frozen, I think. Okay, just Mauricio, please help me with the part of he said. He said, oh no, please tell me. I really to know where I find her. Someone should know about her. I need to find her because Maria Mendes won the lottery. She said, what? The lottery, you say? Well, I'm not sure, but I think she lives in the second corner. The man said, would you mind telling me what her address is? Very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so here we have a little story, but there is no ending to this story. So can you help me, please, completing this one? Can you write super quick? I'll give you like two minutes to make up the ending to this story. What are they talking about? Um, they are looking for Miss Mendes because she has won the lottery, but this person has no idea uh, where she lives or who she is. 
So anybody can say, oh, it's me. I am Maria Mendez, okay, and I don't know. So um, the person, so uh, it's bad. However, there are people who do it. And the man said, would you mind telling me what her address is? Guys, what can be the ending to this story? Can you think about an ending super quick? You before the alarm, I went house. Why start lining to? Let's let's make the ending. If you want to write it in the chat, that would be even better. So we can have different endings and we can compare them. Okay, guys, so I guess you have already thought about a possible ending. Um, so this is going to be a not a happy ending type, all right? So <laughs> guys, uh, whatever your ending is, okay? Ending. Wow. No, whatever your ending is, I don't I want you to say- Random ending. They lived, uh, I don't know, happily ever after. No, guys, this is not a happy ending. The Life happy... is unfair. <laughs> so, a little change. Uh, you, the... you definitely can put a little twist, a little change in that, but not a happy ending. I mean, not like in a, uh, in a soap opera happy ending. <laughs> okay, no, no, así como, ah, ya la encontré en la set. Okay, so try to give it, put it more difficult, guys. Okay, let's do the following. I'm going to ask you guys to make some groups. I want you to share your ideas, share the ending, and come up with one ending as a group, please. So whatever ending you have thought about, not a happy ending thing. Or with a little twist, I don't know, be creative. <laughs> mm -hmm. So guys, let's go ahead, please. Share, uh, go to the groups. Share your ending and then we come up and we discuss it. Let's go to the groups, guys.
Muy bien. Ya estuvo, pero no le podemos decir el final. Sí. Es de infarto, es de infarto. How so? Okay. We'll be a, we'll be a surprise. So you don't have a happy ending, do you? Yes. No. 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 Okay. Is it a but sad you want, ending? If you want, we can do a happy ending. No, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm definitely um, happy to listen to your ideas. But what kind of ending did you make? Like a sad ending, like a terrifying ending, or the, um, I, I don't know. I'm just curious. Who would be a little bit of both? Okay, so sad. That sounds thrilling. Okay, okay. So let's see, guys, what you got. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know, but I'm just intrigued. <laughs> Give me a moment. So Iris, uh, Kenya, were you able to come up with the ending of your story? Teacher, yo estaba en un grupo y, y de repente aparecí aquí, no sé. Justo oh. ahorita. Ajá, estaba con, con Arnoldo, Andrea y Oscar, creo. Uh, yeah, yeah, no worries. I, I ended up uh, all the, 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 the rooms. So they are coming back, but were you able to get like an idea of what the ending could be? The idea is not to make a, a happy ending because, you know, um, we don't want to make it cheesy. Um, guys, I don't know if you are familiar with that expression. So cheesy, right? We don't want to make a very common ending or a very cheesy ending so cheesy is like oh my god <laughs> okay i i remember words in english but not in spanish so uh cheesy is like uh probably too too obvious to um okay let's dejo de tarea in spanish guys what it means <laughs> but we don't want to make a cheesy ending okay or a very obvious ending So um, the idea is to, I don't know, think, get a little bit creative. So guys, what is the ending you have chosen for this story? I have only three oh. groups. So guys, group number one, uh, can you oh. share your ending? So group one is uh, Felix, Helen, Ricardo, Gaby, and Mauricio. Guys, who is going to share the ending? Uh, me, I guess, teacher. Okay, that's all right. Okay, we we end the the, well, the end could be when the I just see Helen like oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it? Or end could could be a star when uh, the madame give the address mm -hmm. and the man go to the address to find um maria mendez. maria mendez okay they knock the door knock the door knock the door and maria mendez say wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i'm going okay. so she opened the door and the man say hey miss you are maria mendez yes i am So she, they, he said, okay, I have a notice for you. You won the lottery. She said, what? He said, yes, yes, you won the lottery. Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, I, I really never won anything in my life. Mm -hmm. I, I used 
uh, to buy the ticket because in the store don't have a change. Oh, okay. So they say, he say, but, uh, como decir, antes de, como decir antes de, before, before everything, uh, I just want to shake your ticket. Okay. And you say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I have a here, I have a here, and there, uh, search her ticket, but she don't find it. Oh, okay. She has lost her ticket. So there is no way to get the prize. Wow, yes. so unfortunate. Oh my God, okay, okay. Well, but that happens, right? So I guess that that is something that could happen. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a very nice one. Sad, but very creative. Guys, group number two. Very good job, guys. That sounds good. Let's go with number two. Angelica, Kenya. Ricardo has another one. Margarita, Rafael, and Jerry. Yeah. Tiene otro yes, final? Teacher. Do you have another ending, Ricardo? No. Yes, no. Idea de Ricardo. Ah, idea de Ricardo. No, but that, that was a very nice one. That was a really nice one. And that happens. Eso sí, you know, that 